In this video, I'm going to show how we can optimize the way that Git outputs information. There's a concept called the pager that controls what gets output and how. So if I am to, for instance, say git log, I'm going to see a bunch of information about the history of commits in my repository. And um, we can see a blinking cursor down here. That means I'm inside of a pager called less. And so this pager allows me to do things like search for um, a term like vim. I can just keep searching and maybe find something that I'm looking for. Now, if I hit Q, I exit out of the pager and everything that had been printed to the screen in the context of that pager is now cleared, wiped out. And with a command like git log, that's generally what you want because git log outputs a lot of content. What about another command like git show, which will show me, at least in this case, with no arguments, the head commit? Well, it displays a bunch of information about this commit inside of a pager again. And when I hit Q, that all goes away. Now we can see with this git show that there wasn't really so much information that it needed to be paginated by the pager, but nonetheless, it was displayed by the pager. And that is because of a setting or an environment variable rather, which is the pager environment variable. And we can see that set to less. And so if I open up the man pages for git config and I go to core.pager, we can see we've got a little information that explains how the pager gets set and works. Um, but what I want to point out here is that there's a little order of precedence that's happening where first it looks for the git pager environment variable, then it looks for core pager in our git config. And then eventually I'll look for the pager environment variable itself. So because this is the only thing I have set, this is what it falls to. And in this case, it's set to less, as we saw here. So that's the pager that's going to get used. For a command like git show, I may not want to have the pager be active. I, I may just want to have the output of that command go right into the terminal. And so what I can do is I can include the no pager flag ahead of the command just right after git and it will print this output here and put me down on a new prompt here and as i you know continue to go about my work i can scroll back up in my terminal history to to read this maybe to like copy a commit sha or something like that so in some cases you do want this output printed to the terminal and this flag right here is a nice escape hatch for that um, it doesn't work so well with a thing like log, though, because what you end up doing is printing out, you know, the entire history of your repository, which in the case of this one, which has been going on since 2015, there's a lot of commits. Um, so we end up seeing the last commit here, and that's not really what we want. So with something like log, we kind of want to stick to using the pager so that we can start at the top as we see up here, scroll down through search for things, so on and so forth. Um, so what we can do then, if we want to leave log alone, but we want um, something like show to not be uh, necessarily processed through the pager, we can go ahead and open up our git config. And we can add a new option in a pager section called for the name of the action show. And we can say, instead of uh, using the pager option, we're gonna override it with a setting here of cat. So cat is a command for concatenating and printing files. And in the case of git, this is what they want you to use to uh, print out uh, something if you don't wanna use a pager. So if I now say git show, we can see that it printed it right out using cat instead of less. So we can take this a bit further by configuring the way that git uses less when it outputs information. We can have it use the pager when it's needed and fall back to just printing out the output like it did in the case of this git show in the terminal itself when a pager isn't needed. So the way that we can do that, or at least to test it out, is we can define an inline environment variable, pager, where we say less, 
and we gonna and we're gonna add some flags on. So we'll say we'll say that uh, we want the f flag and the x flag. And now if we run our git log, that will use the pager as we'd like. And then if we use the git show at this point, we can see that it prints the output of the command directly to the terminal. Though I have a suspicion that this isn't actually taking effect here. Yeah, even when we remove those commands, it's still printing out directly. And I think that's because we still have this overridden in our config here. So if I get rid of those lines and we jump back here, if I'm to run this with pagers, it says less. Yes, it uses the pager. And then if I am to then add in these flags, now we're getting what we want. The pager is not being used, and instead it's printing out directly to the terminal. Now the way this works is that f is going to tell the pager to use it if it's needed, or if the output can fit into the terminal itself, to just put it in the terminal. And the x has to do with some um, pre and post things that happen with the pager, where it prevents the screen from getting cleared. Without the X, you'll see that nothing's actually getting output. So we need the X here to make sure that this actually gets displayed. Now, I don't want to have to set this environment variable in line every time I use a git command. So what can be done instead is we can open up git config. Oops. And we can go into core and we can set our pager. So this is the option that we saw earlier in the video, and we can paste that out. And I don't need the pager part anymore. I just need it to know that it should use less with fx. I'll put it inside a string just in case that helps it process it. Yeah, actually, I can see these examples up here. The, the quotes aren't needed, but we'll leave them anyway. And so I'll wq that out, and if I say git log, we're getting the pager as we'd like. And if I say git show, it's not being used. And I believe if I say git show with the previous commit before the one on head, it's going to be large enough that it is going to cause the pager to take effect. So let's see. Yep, and it is. It's large enough that the pager was needed, and so it used it. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can work with git and its pager, in this case less, to optimize the way that output is displayed to you. One other thing to keep in mind as you're sort of working out the configuration that works for you is to be aware of how the less environment variable is set. These are options that are added to less. And I think in certain versions of the way Git has been set up, there are things like I think the S option gets included. And so I think that can throw off some things about how this is output. So just Make sure you check out the echo less and make sure you're aware of which of those options you want and which ones you don't want. As you might expect, you can do man less and dive into all the different flags that are available when using less. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.